Hello, and welcome to a bit of a different one today. Uh, so, we are doing some TCG, but this time it's Magic the Gathering, which I'm 99% sure is the first time I've ever done this uh, on the channel. And, I mean, you, you can probably tell why that is. That's right, today we have the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty bundle box bundle thing. Um, I'm very new to Magic the Gathering. I've been aware of it for years. I've got friends who play it. I have some cards that my brother gave me when I was very small, but that's about it really. Um, but recently I did buy two packs of Kamigawa because I was kind of interested. I was like, yo, that's that's a cool theme for the set. And you know, I've always been a little bit curious about magic. And so I saw this in a shop recently and was like, you know what? I have some disposable income at the moment. Why not splash out? So I thought I'd just get a bundle thing. Um, this is kind of like an elite trainer box in terms of Pokemon, I guess. So we're going to take a look at this. So that's the front, that is the top. It does a bundle in hot neon pink. That's the magic symbol there. That's the side. This is a look at the back, but we will be opening it up in a second. So there's not much point dwindling. I know you get lots of special card things. And that's below and that's above. And you can hear the things sloshing about in there. And also, because I bought this in Game, which is the kind of UK equivalent GameStop, yeah, if you're not from the UK, they also gave me this, which I think is like postcards or something. So, and open this up first, because this is like a purchase bonus thing, I guess. Uh, I know they sometimes do it with Pokemon cards as well. That if you spend a certain amount on Pokemon cards at a certain date, they'd give you like promos or whatever. Um, presumably this is a... Kamigawa promo. So it's slightly ripped actually, which is a bit weird. But let's take a look. I assume it does feel like postcards. Let's move that to the side for a second. Uh, there's nothing else in there. Good. So, yo, okay. Uh, that is that is the wrong way around that. So I don't know who these people are, obviously, because uh, I've only opened two packs, but these are postcards. I don't know why you'd want to send such beautiful postcards to someone in the mail, because they would get bent and stuff, but still pretty nice. That, ooh, I'm really digging that. That's a... Man, the artwork on Magic Cards uh, is really nice. Like, I will say, when it comes to art, I do... Pr ooh, yo, hang on, I just realised there's, like, foil treatment. Oh, okay, uh, sorry, we'll go back to this. Hang on. Um... So I don't know how well it's coming up. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's got like the foil kind of stuff going on. Very nice. So this dragon, um, wyvern kind of thing is all over the shop. There is, it is foil tip to toe. Um, it's kind of coming across on screen. I guess my light is picking up a lot on it. But hey, there we go. Look at that. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite subtle. He, that dude is like fully chromatic basically very nice ooh yo and it's the cover woman who I want to say is the wandering emperor or wandering empress maybe um because I briefly looked up on TCG player just in case there's any like crazy cards to look out for that you know at least if I pull I'll know and get something I couldn't really tell I think wandering emperor does tend to be one of the highest there is another one, but it seems to be like a promo or some kind of special card, so I don't think I'll, I'll, I don't think there's any chance I'll be pulling that. But these are really nice. I mean, I could get a frame or something, maybe have them like arranged. That would be cool. But yeah, that was a nice little bonus there. Um, right, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and remove the tamper seals on the back here um, and then we'll open it up so I'll be back after this feed okay I'm clearly very new to this because the tamper proof seals are not to be pulled off it just kind of opens this way <laughs> like a pull tab so we've all learned something today um, apart from the people who already knew I suppose so let's pull everything out and take a look so the back does tell us stuff, and I might consult it, but, you know, we don't really need that. Hey, there we are. We've got a cool, man, a really cool poster kind of thing there. Uh, just some, like, promo art, but, uh, oh, hang on. 
This is the Wanderer. Oh, okay, cool. So she's, um, she is the kind of token, uh, you know, pack character. Yo, that art. I don't know if they've got, they had like, uh, people, you know, contribute, sort of like Japanese artists maybe. Because it is very Japanese aesthetic, that. But I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, and then we have the box. I'm gonna lift the lid and we'll take a look. So this is more of a backdrop, but man, I love the um, the theme of it. It's all like feudal Japanese, but in the future. Yeah, and uh, same that side, very nice. And the top. So this is literally an elite trainer box that you would find in Pokemon as well. Uh, I'm not not casting aspersions or saying which is, you know, correct or whatever. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, cool. So, um, like counters. Uh, I don't know what those are. Um, I vaguely know how magic works as a game, but not enough to be able to say what these are. Um, yeah, cool. And they're just like fields or whatever, I guess. Uh, you know, you'd You'd place them down as representations, maybe, of fields. That's really cool, though. Uh, you know, very, very interesting they do that. Ooh, and this is like a divided box. That's interesting. So, we have a, uh, I think this is like an oversized spin-down counter, which is a uh, D20, I do believe. So, that's cool. What, what are we going to get? Uh, oh, that didn't even come on camera. Cool. We got... Number eight. Hey, there we are. If that's your lucky number, uh, well, well done. Well done, I pulled it. I pulled it, I rolled it, you know what I mean. Uh, hang on, let's put those there for a second. So, we get eight boost, uh, set booster packs. So there are a different um, guy in the local games shop that I bought my two previous trading card packs from. Because I've never played Magic 4, I just asked him for like advice kind of I guess of like hey man what what am I looking for here and he's like oh you probably want a set booster I guess that's like a slightly better chance or whatever so these are like rules and stuff um so popular magic format oh, okay yeah standard booster draft commander learn more on their website and on your turn yeah that's really cool um, and yeah, that's just how to cast better. Cool, cool. So these are like how-to cards. That is kind of useful, I suppose. Uh, we've also got this tub here. Now, I do believe uh, that is Invoke Despair. That's like an alt art. Let me double check. All right, yes. So it is alt art traditional foil Invoke Despair. Um, don't really know the difference. I think I, I saw something on TCG about like inlaid foil and there's neon cards and stuff. So I guess we'll see if we pull some of those. And then we've also got um, 20 uh, traditional foil and 20 regular base lands. To be honest, I think this is the only card that's really of interest from this box. Um, the lands, they look cool, but they are basic lands and stuff, and we'll be pulling some in packs, no doubt, anyway. So I'm not going to bother opening this up right now. But that's really cool. Um, you know, I, I like I like the art and that and stuff. As I was saying earlier, actually, about the art. Also, that's what I kind of like in that. There's a small box within the box, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to chuck these back here. And that back there for now. And that spin-down dice. Um, yeah, so with with the art, uh, as you guys probably can tell from my channel, I'm a bit of a sucker for Japanese art, uh, like Japanese art styles and stuff. So, that's why I've never massively been into magic, but I'm going to give this a go, because some of the art I've seen has been beautiful and stuff, and you know, I mean, I, I like Western art as well. So, I'm going to go lay these out now, I'm going to move those from the back, uh, and then we'll crack these open. All right, I'm back. So, these are 12 card packs, I do believe, and these are the set boosters. So, as I said, there was there's some kind of difference, I think. There's like a set booster and a, another type of booster, and I think set boosters have a higher chance of pulling, like, crazy cards or something like that. I, I can't remember. Um, let's see. Is that... How we start? Yes, that is how we start. Cool. So we got like 
artwork on these kind of card things. Uh, yeah, this... I think I remember pulling like a few other things, but yeah, we'll probably see some of these. I think they're tokens, maybe? Are they? Uh, correct me in the comments below if I am wrong. So we've got islands. I'm going to go kind of quick through these because I don't really know what I'm looking for. But we have Blade Blizzard Kitsune. Very cool. She does look like a Kitsune or a fox girl. We've got Aki Ronin. Very nice. Just going to take in all the art here. It is beautiful. Suit up. That's, that's not a person. That is an instance or whatever. We've got Dragonfly suit. Very cool. Yeah, I, I, I love the kind of combination of old and new. Seven Tail Mentor. Very cool. They're all like samurai kind of dudes. We've got Mech Hanger, of course. Uh, it cannot be a futuristic Japanese city without mechs. We've got Mobilizer Mech, uh, another god damn, the, ah, these are so cool. Uh, we have a Prodigy's Prototype, very nice. Now, I don't know the order of these as well. Um, I feel like the rares may be next or something, but whatever. Uh, Okiba Reckoner Raid, uh, so these are sagas, that's it. So like, I believe they've got two sides. Yeah, there we go, so like, I think you wait certain turns and they have effects and then Eventually, it turns into uh, Nezumi Road Captain. Very cool. Uh, next up, we've got another saga, the Restoration of a Ganjo. Very nice. Uh, and that turns into Architect of Restoration. Ooh, man. I'm really digging that. That's like an old, older fashion kind of uh, Japanese bit of art there. We've got Mech Titan Co. Very nice. Digging the Hollow. Uh, I can't remember it. I don't think you're guaranteed a hollow in every pack. Obviously, I don't fully understand the rarities. I'm going to have a quick look at this afterwards just to make sure I haven't pulled anything super crazy. But, you know, uh, we've got a magic mini game. Ah, oh, there we are. Winchester Draft. Nice. So, I'm not going to read through this now, but I know a friend of mine opened the vampire set of this. Shout out to Dan if you're watching this. Um, and his was like a wedding planner mini game. Uh, it's it's quite interesting. I do like that they're kind of giving you rule sets for like different games and stuff. That's kind of cool, right? I'm gonna go take a look quickly at the cards just to make sure there's nothing I missed. BRB. Okay, I'm back. So um, I I realised the the Holloway pulled was are rare, but um, this also kind of gives you a breakdown. So if you're also new to this set, maybe this is worth a read. Not gonna read it all out, but. There's some really interesting stuff. There's a um, foil stamped signature art card replaces art card in 5% of set boosters. Uh, and the art card, I believe, is like the first one I pulled from this, which is this one, I think. So that's kind of cool. I'll keep an eye out for that. Um, let's go on to the next one. So I know, I think, like, Mythic is the highest rarity. And it said something about, so you get one rare, um, and there's certain chances of getting up to like four rares in a pack or something, so that's kind of cool. Now another thing I really like about this is that sometimes you get like alt art uh, lands and stuff, which is really cool. Okay, that was the wrong way around, I guess, so hey, we've got a different art card, very nice. I mean, these are something I could frame as well, to be honest, they're... Uh, they're, they're very pretty. They are they are lovely. So, kudos there. We've got a swamp. Very nice. We've got a selfless uh, samurai. Oh, very nice. And some of these are a little bit difficult to read, not going to lie. We've got a har harmonious emergence. Very nice. Uh, I don't fully know exactly what's going on. Yo, let's go. We got a crackling emergence. That's another emergence, but yo, man, that's really cool. Uh, again, I'm not I'm not going to spend too long because we've got so many packs to go through. We've got ambitious assault. That does seem ambitious. We've got a kindled fury. Very nice. Uh, an imperial recovery unit. Okay. Wow, that's very cool. Again, mix of the old and new. We've got a selfless samurai. Oh, okay. We. Got one of those just now, so I don't know the exact difference, but we've, we've got two selfless samurais now. We've got Tempered in Solitude. 
dude. Look at that. Hey, we've got a saga, which is the long reach of night. Man, what a reach night has. Ooh, animus of night's reach. Damn, it's like a, 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 a Shiva meets a geisha. Uh, that's that's an interesting one. We've got Sokenzan, Crucible of Defiance. Next one, hey, there we go. Uh, is a grafted growth. Very nice, and I do believe that is a rare as well. No, that's a common. Okay, there is a C. So yeah, I think every card has a common uh, in it. Oh, we've got an add. What is the list? One of four set boosters contains a card handpicked from Magic History. Oh, okay. Um, that's cool. So is this the card? I guess maybe no. Samurai. Yeah, it's oh, it's a token. That's that's cool. That's useful. Is this one of the ones on the list? I don't know. I could go onto the website, but I, I, I'm not going to. I'm still instead going to anger all the magic fans watching this, no doubt. Um, yeah. If if I have missed anything, by the way, please do let me know in the comments if I like happen to have skipped over something really cool. Um, or if I'm just asking stupid questions about something that should have made sense if I just paid attention more. To be honest, I just saw shiny, cool-looking uh, Japanese stuff and, and bought it. Uh, that's the story of my life. Welcome to Imminent Tortoise. So, uh, we've got another one. Dude, that, oh man. Okay, that's my favourite so far. We've got like... Don't even know what's going on. He's like a robo-lizard. Man, thing on a bike, on a hover bike. Is there a hover bike? It looks like a hover bike. Okay, we got a forest this time. Very nice. Oh, sorry. We've got a uprise, uh, uprise renegade. Very nice. Uh, we got a sunblade samurai. Very dude. All these samurais are very cool. I might, man. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to dabble in the arena now. To be honest. We've got an Eganjo Exemplar, very cool. Like, I, I'd happily play a few, like, samurai kind of decks or whatever. We've got an Imperial Subduer, very cool. Uh, an Ancestral Katana, ooh, very nice uh, Katana set there. We've got an Asari Captain, ooh, I've heard of that. I think uh, my friend of the channel, Dan, Space Arcada, he does sometimes open Magic the Gathering packs uh, on Discord to the rest of us, and if, I swear he's mentioned Asari before. Uh, reinforced Ronin. Oh man, he does look reinforced. That that sword is huge. It's like a Zweihander katana. That's that's interesting. Ooh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> so I thought this was hollow then, because that's kind of shiny a bit. Uh, we got Heiko Yamazaki, the general. He does look, he does have the armour of a general. Hey, we've got a saga. It is befriending the, the befriending the moths. Okay. Oh, please be Mothra. Come on. Uh, we've got Imperial Moth. Ah, oh, it's, it's, kind, it's kind of like Mothra. It's big. It, that's, that's a big moth, I think. Well, there we are. Mothra is one of my favourite monsters. Or kaijus, rather. We have a Lion Sash. Very, very cool. Oh, a hollow, ooh. Oh, a hollow is Cyber Transpa Transpassers. Dude, okay. That's that's very nice. That is a common as well, okay. And our oh, last is a Stone Giant. Um, Again, I don't know if this is like classic or not. I'll take a quick look at this just to see, but... I don't know, the art reminds me of like a different set or a different era, so I'll double check. Okay, I want to say it does, because eh, the copyright is to 2012 then. It doesn't have the set number that all of the others does. So yeah, I, I presume this is a card from the list. So, very cool. Stone Giant. It's probably probably not like a valuable card or anything, but you know, I, I, like, I like pulling, you know, special cards sometimes. Is it special? I don't know. Maybe it's useful or something, hopefully. That would be cool. Um, I don't think I can ever end up playing this physically. Uh, but you know, 
maybe, as I say, maybe on Arena or something. Uh, also, apologies for uh, flashing my gnarly uh, injury on my thumb there. Uh, that was due to some bike riding. That story for another time. This time, it's... Oh, no, it is the right way up. Oh, yeah, it's one of those, like, um... What even is... Wow, that's like a flying ship, I guess. Like a flying fortress, an emperor's fortress or whatever. It's picking that up as a face, which is incorrect. That's the face camera. Um, but yeah, that's kind of one of the um, traditional lions and stuff. That's very cool. Another one I'm, I'm very fond of. These art cards have been pulling it through. Ooh. No, oh, we got a hollow. Okay, we got a um, hollow island. Very cool. Uh, still haven't pulled any of the cool Japanese islands. Um, and not islands, uh, lands. They've got like kanji on them and stuff. It's very cool. Anyway, we've got Nezumi Blade Blesser. Cool. Really like in the dark aesthetic. Uh, that's a black card, right? Because they've all got elements and stuff. We've got a Golden Tail Disciple. Very nice. Next up, we've got a Regent's Authority. Cool, kind of like wolf-headed man thing, spirit, demon, robot, maybe. Who knows? Uh, we have an Intercessor's Arrest. I, I haven't pulled many uh, doubles yet, although the, the set is like 300 cards large, so... Not going to run into many of that. Ooh, Repel the Vial. Dude. Okay, that's cool. That looks like a screenshot from an anime. That is Blade Blizzard Kitsune. Oh, okay, that's our first double, I think. Or was that a different Kitsune? I can't remember. Next up, we have Dokuchi Silencer. Hey, that's really cool. Next, hey, we've got a Saga. This is uh, Michiko's Reign of Truth. Oh, we've got like the traditional fan stuff. Obviously, I'm not stopping to read all of these, but we have a portrait of Michiko. Very nice, there she is with her fan again. Next up, we have Mind Link Mech. Do we... Hmm, that art looks familiar, but it wasn't a Mind Link Mech. Ooh, ooh, we've got like a there's, a... there's a small bit of hollow there. That's cool, and that's a rare. Cool, oh, okay, well I've pulled... So it's more than one rare in this pack. Okay, cool. I wonder how many rares I've missed now, because that little one bit there, that like gold bit, is the only hollow bit. Uh, oh, this is rare as well then. This is Invoke the Ancients, dude. That's really cool. Ooh, I really like that art actually. So that's a, uh, that's another rare. Very nice. Uh, so, okay, so the hollow is like the penultimate one and can be anything, obviously. We have Sky Swimmer Koi. Ah. Ah, oh, that's that's cute. It's it's a koi fish, but it's swimming in the sky, and it's a common. Okay, wow. And our last card is a blank like token thing. I guess that's cool. Maybe um, cool. Well, there we are. That that could be anything. I guess um, I'm sure there's a use for that card somewhere uh, in some kind of format. I will give uh, Wizards and Magic the um, kudos. They, they, they've kind of... They've really gone above and beyond with all the formats for their games and stuff. I mean, I don't play Pokemon competitively at all. But I will say it's kind of been roughly the same format for the same, like, last 20 years. Uh, not that... You know, not that they don't introduce different things, there's GX and Vs and stuff like that. But generally speaking, they're all you all kind of play it the same as you did twenty years ago, apart from there's one or two different sort of rules now. But you know. Uh anyway, that's the one. Oh. God damn, we're still getting new uh new art. Yo, we've got uh like Vishnu or in Indra maybe Indra is a big one, isn't it? Yeah, yo, okay, that's really cool. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna look into like getting some of these uh, put into some can some kind of display. Hey, we have mountains. There we are. That's a red land. Right. 
Uh, right, we have Ink Rise Infiltrator. Very nice, sounds like a Splatoon character. Next up, we have Cyber, ah, Cyber Transpassers. We've seen that before. We've got a Moon Circuit Hacker. Dude, very, very cool. Uh, we have a Network Disruptor. Okay, all very uh, cyber heavy at the moment. We've got a Moon Snare Specialist. Okay, more uh, ancient spiritual kind of side of things now. Next up, we've got a Moon Folk Puzzle Maker. Cool. The, I'm, I'm picking up this kind of like an adjective uh, and then a sort of type of person is the kind of thing. Uh, such as a Nezumi Prowler. So it's a Prowler of the Nezumi clan, presumably. Um, next up, we have Kappa Tech Wrecker. Dude, that's very cool. Kappas are cool. They're like sort of tortoises or turtles, but they're not and they're different. Uh, next up, we've got a saga, Azusa's Many Journeys. Very cool. And what is... That turns into Likeness of the Seeker. Ah, oh, very ethereal. Uh, our foil... Oh, okay, no, it's a rare. It's, it's a rare rare. Um, we have the Reality Chip. Very nice. I imagine all those hackers and stuff are after that. Maybe. Again, I'm just making up stories now. We've got Discover the uh, Impossible. Discover the Impossible. See the Invisible. Row, row, fight the power. Uh, very nice. That is a common. Uh, wait, is that a common? Yeah, that is. For some reason that wasn't showing up very well on my camera. And our last card. Ooh, se secret, secret flare. Discover the best worst kept secret in secret... Secret Lair. How do, why do I read that as Flair? Uh, oh, cool. And it's a Samurai token. There we go. Okay. So the Samurai tokens are just like, well, you need to play Samurai cards, presumably. Secret Lair. I've heard of that. Because um, I, do, I do sometimes kind of follow magic stuff on YouTube. Uh, just because I'm kind of curious, you know, about what's going on. Um, which is actually where I heard about this. I saw someone open up one of these bundle things, or like a fat pack or whatever, and uh, I was like, you know what? Kind of tempted. Anyway, I'm going to go take a drink of water, and I'll be right back. This is a friendly reminder to keep drinking water when you're thirsty. Right, we are into the last three packs now. I really like one of those special lands. Uh, I managed to pull it in one of the two uh, set boosters I bought a while ago. So hopefully I'll, I'll pull another one. That would be cool to show you guys. Right, we've got... Uh, ooh, yet more new art. God damn, that's cool. That's... Uh, yeah, that's very like Shinto-y. Kind of Shinto priest god... Uh, people, things. I don't really know what's going on. I'm not going to lie. Right. Ooh, we have a Bloodfell Caves. Oh, it's a land, but like it's got stuff going on. Okay. That's cool. We have a Sunblade Samurai. We've seen him before. We have a Geothermal Kami. Okay. I... Is that what the Kami are meant to look like? Because Kami are kind of gods, but not the god or whatever. I don't know. Commune with Spirits. Very nice. It does look like they are doing that. We've got uh, Greater Tanuki. Tanuki, of course, are well known for their massive testicles. Next up, we've got Grafted Growth. We've seen that before. Very cool. Uh, next up is Careful Cultivation. Oh, nice. I, I suppose that goes with the previous card, actually, with the growth. Uh, next up, we have Spinning Wheel Kick. Very cool. Let's see. That's a move. Uh, hey, we have Silver Fur Master. Silver Fur Master. Oh, okay, cool. With the, the furries are in Techno Japan too, then. That's nice. We've got oh, Befriending the Moths, which turns into Not Mothra. Very cool. Uh, next up is a rare, and that is Mech Titan Core. Oh, we, we pulled the um, hollow of this, didn't we? Cool, so we got this in like regular rare and hollow rare. Ooh, we've got an explosive entry. Dude, oh, that's that's really nice as hollow, actually. That's, uh, and that is a C. That is a, uh, a common. 
put a lot of commons uh, commons in hollow, apart from the old first one, which is a rare. Secret Lair and Samurai Token. Oh no, it's a spirit. Hey, there we are. That's like, well, it's a token as well, I suppose, but it's a spirit. Uh, spirit Token. Spirit Token, what's that from? Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I swear there are spirit tokens in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, right, two packs left. I right, come on, give me, give me a, give me a special land, please. Um, I had like death or something. Um, if I don't, if I don't pull it, uh, it's not the end of the world, I guess. But you know, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're kind of aware of Neon Dynasty anyway. So you know, maybe it's not. It's not something you're unaware of. I'm sure you've seen them before. Ooh, that's, that looks a little bit like Guts from Berserk. If you really squint and if you ignore a lot of the other stuff going on, that's that's really cool. He is running along them uh, traditional Japanese rooftops. Yes, let's go. Okay, so there we go. That is a like forest uh, land card, but oh man. Look at that. Isn't that just, like, the coolest? That is... Yo. Okay, cool. We've done it. We've... Th th this is unironically one of the things I was most hyped for uh, in getting this. I was kind of hoping to pull more, but whatever. So, we've got a Prosperous Thief. We've got a Guardian of a Boro. I think that's new. Uh, we've got Futurist Sentinel. That's, that's a big old sentinel. I think sentinels are by definition big, but you know. We have a Kitsune Ace. Very nice. Uh, yeah, more of the furries. Good to, good to see they're represented. Uh, we have a Prosperous Thief. We just pulled one of those, I swear, but okay. Uh, we have a Reality Heist. Ooh, that's, uh, that's some pretty cool art there. We've got a high-speed hover bike. Very cool. Looks speedy. Uh, we've got a tail, uh, Tales of Master Seshiro. And it turns into Seshiro's Living Legacy. Oh man, that's really cool actually. Um, and we have also have a tail which is uh, Bo 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 Boseju Reaches Skyward. Okay, cool. So this is like... I don't think... Oh, wait, no, no, we did have one, um, we did have one, didn't we? Branch of Boseju. Cool, so it's not the first time we've had two sagas. Uh, next up is Invoke Calamity. That does look like there's some calamity going on. That's a rare. So I do apologise. I think I've probably, in the first two packs, pulled a rare and just not realised it. But, you know, it's too late now. Um, we have Invigorating Hot Spring. That that looks pretty that looks pretty hot, but you know, it probably is invigorating. I hear good things about hot springs. Ooh, this is an uncommon! Let's fucking go, boys! Uncommon. Alright. And uh we have the booster sleuth. Okay, cool. Um And yeah, so I, I had a read of the other one. It's just like, hey, uh open six packs, put them into different piles or something, and then play from the drafts you get. It, I mean, it sounds cool. Um, I like, I do like the concept of that because it means that you put cards you might never use to use because you end up kind of having to use them in a draft. Um, so that's really cool. You know, I'm definitely appreciative of that. So our final pack, can we pull the like, uh, oh, a, a neon card. A neon card would be cool, actually. That's uh, that's like one of the big things of the set. I know they're incredibly rare or whatever, so I don't think we are going to, but hey, it's always good to set the audience up with some expectations, isn't it, you know? Right, ooh, and the final one. Uh, yet again, I don't think I've seen this card. Man, that's really cool. Um, right. Well, that is a nice piece of art. And we also have a Hollow Plains. I mean, Hollow Lands, much like Hollow Energies in Pokemon, they're just nice because they're shiny. Um, and they're kind of basic as well. So we have a Moon Snare Specialist. I've seen that before, I do believe. We have a Yukai Trainer, or Jukai, Yukai, uh, with the Not Lightsaber. We have a Season of Renewal. 
Very cool. We've got a bamboo uh, bamboo grove archer. Very cool. Uh, ooh, we have an uncharted haven. Dude, that looks really cool, actually. I like the... Uh, that is a land. Okay, cool. It's a land with an effect and stuff. I was going to say, it does look a little bit different. Uh, we have a feed into antiquity. Very nice. That's a sorcery. There we are. See, I'm picking up... Picking up on the magic lingo. I'll be an, an expert in no time. Born to drive, aren't we all? Uh, but yeah, that's very cool. We have a hotshot mechanic. Very cool. I bet he's very good at his job. Um, right, our saga is the modern age. Boo, that's not as cool. We have Vector Glider. That's, that's pretty cool, actually. It looks a little bit like um, Ori. From Ori in the Blind Forest, sort of. Uh, our rare is Kyodai, Soul of Kamigawa. Oh, that's cool. It's uh, That's the name of the set. Oh, well, part of the name of the set. Oh, it doesn't actually say it there. You know what I mean. Eey. That's really cool. That's one of the dudes from the place. Our hollow is Fever of Jukai, or Yukai, as we saw just now. Another thing. It's an enchantment. And it is a common. Right. Drum roll, please. This is the final card. Uh, I reckon it's going to tell us about Secret Lair again. Oh, no, it's... It's a card that you can make whatever you feel like. What What do you reckon should be written on this card? Let me know in the comments below. What What, what would What would be the, like, name and effect of this card? Tell me... Tell me so that I may never do anything with that information. All right, well, guys, thank you very much for sitting through this with me. Um, I appreciate it. I'm a total noob of magic. But you know what? I've enjoyed these. Um, I kind of like delving into new card games, and that is absolutely what I did today. Um, if you are interested in me doing other trading card things, I'll leave a playlist there. Um, I do a lot of Pokemon as well, but... I'll leave the sort of the, the non-Pokemon trading cards I've done over the years. And I'll leave YouTube to side a video for you. And that about wraps it up. Uh, again, thank you guys very much for watching. I will be putting up videos again soon. So, until next time, goodbye. Wait, no, sayonara.